Did you know that sometimes we can get scared? But when we get scared, we can keep our eyes on Jesus. That's right, I'm Buckle. And I'm Ayla. And welcome to The, the Link, Link Show. Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Link Show. Today we're learning that it's okay if we feel scared sometimes and learning what we can do, which is keeping our eyes on Jesus. And so, in just a moment, we've got a really cool craft I can't wait to show you that will help us remember to keep our eyes on Jesus. After that, we're looking at all your arts and crafts. How talented are our Link crew? You're so good at it! After that, we're going to be looking at our animated Bible story and make sure you're paying close attention because after that... We've got today's Bible quiz. That's right. What do you think today's craft might be if we're learning to keep our eyes on Jesus? Is it like a full face mask? It is! It's a face mask! We like a superhero mask. I think it looks cool because, you know, superheroes wear masks and we think you can be a hero too by keeping your eyes on Jesus even when you're afraid, it looks like this. And so we're gonna get started coloring ours in. And while we do that, how about you go check out Preach Part One? Okay, let me tell you a story about a time I went rock climbing. It was indoor rock climbing. So I wasn't outside climbing a big mountain as a part of what we used to do at school on a Friday afternoon is we do a Friday afternoon sports. And so we got to choose. We could go do like exercising. We could go play soccer. And for one of them, we could choose to go indoor rock climbing. And so we'd all hop on a bus after the last break. And this is before we finished for the day. We had about an hour and a half. We'd hop on a bus. We'd drive to a local gym that had rock walls inside. So we'd go in, we'd put our harnesses on and we'd start to climb these walls. Now, if you've ever been rock climbing, you know that some of the walls are really easy. They're like, you climb up like this, it's on the outside, it's super easy. Some of them are straight up and down. And so they're actually a little more difficult, but some of them, overhang upside down. And so you're quite literally hanging upside down as you climb this wall. And one of the rock walls that were at this place we were going was super duper difficult and really high. Now, if you've watched The Ling Show, you know that I am afraid of heights. And so I did all the easy walls, no worries. I did all the medium walls, no worries. But as soon as I got to this final wall, I would always freeze. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't even start. I was too afraid. But one of the teachers noticed that I was scared. And so the teacher came to me and said, what's the matter? Why aren't you trying? And I said, I'm, I'm scared of heights. And this one, it's upside down. I'm too scared because I can see the ground. I don't want to do it. And my teacher said, but are you going to be sad if you don't climb this wall? I'm like, yes, I am going to be sad. I want to finish them all, but I'm too scared. And so the teacher looked at me and said, okay, what if we do it together? And so the teacher went and got a harness and right next to the wall where I was, there was another wall that was exactly the same. And so he said, let's do it together. We'll climb side by side. And he said, whatever you do, don't look down. The only place I want you to look is look at me. So look at where you're climbing, but look at me, eyes on me. And so I said, okay, no worries. And so we started climbing and we did the easy bit. Then it started to get a little scary, a bit higher, a bit upside down, then a little bit higher. And then I froze. I looked down and I was petrified. My whole body locked up. I couldn't move. I was safe. I was on a harness. I had a rope. There was no way I was going to get hurt, but I still froze and I couldn't move. My teacher called over to me and he said, Buckle, what are you doing? I said, I looked down, I'm too scared. And he said, Buckle, eyes on me. And so I slowly lifted my eyes and I looked across to the teacher next to me. He was only this far away. He could reach out and touch me. He patted me on the back and he said, Buckle, eyes on me. We can do this together. And so he told me where to put my hand and then the next hand and then a foot and then another hand. And over the next couple of minutes by not looking down, but looking at him, I made it to the top. I pressed the bell and I won. I got down to the ground afterwards and I was so proud that I did it, but I knew that there was no way I could have done it on my own. I needed his help. I needed to keep my eyes on him. You see, you see, sometimes in our lives, we can feel afraid, we can feel scared, we can feel like we don't know what to do and that we want to lock up and freeze and just close our eyes and pretend it's not happening because sometimes life can get really hard. But in a moment, I want to tell you a story in the Bible where one of the disciples had the same thing happen. He was scared. He didn't know what to do. But Jesus said, don't look around, keep your eyes on me. And so we're going to take a look at that story in a moment, and we're going to learn how we can keep our eyes on Jesus too. Welcome 
back, everybody. Look at our cool superhero face masks. It says, keep your eyes on Jesus. So the way these work is you can cut the holes out for the eyes so you can see through it. And there's also two spots there where if you want to, you can attach some elastic and you can actually make it so it stays on your face like a superhero mask. I think these look amazing. So I've gone with green and blue and orange and yellow and also like another orange in the middle. I, I kept mine symmetrical. That's a big word. It just means it's the same pattern. I think mine looks amazing. I can't wait to wear it. But Isla, what have you done? It's kind of like a pattern. Oh, you've done a pattern too. So like red, yellow, pink, purple. Is it orange? Orange. Yep. Oh, look at that. Yeah. I love it. I think yours looks so cool. We should put some elastic on these later. But what we're going to do now is look at all of your arts and crafts. Welcome back. You are so talented, but Isla, what are we going to watch now? Today's animated Bible story. Say hello to Jesus, the Son of God, the Savior of the world. One time, Jesus even did a miracle where he fed over 5,000 people, but by now, it was getting late in the day. So Jesus told his disciples to hop in the boat and travel ahead of him to the other side while he stayed behind and sent the people home. After everyone had left, Jesus climbed up a nearby mountain by himself to pray. But later that night, while Jesus was alone on the mountain, the boat had already traveled away from the land and was fighting against the wind and the waves. It was getting crazy. Jesus decided to go out and meet them walking on the water. When the disciples saw him, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they yelled in fear. But Jesus immediately called back, take courage, don't be afraid, it's me. Peter replied, Lord, if it's really you, tell me to come out to you on the water. So Jesus replied, come on out. Peter walked to the edge of the boat, put his hands on the edge, put one foot over. And as his foot touched the water, he started walking on the water as well. He started walking out towards Jesus, but when he was a little bit away from the boat, he got distracted and he saw the wind and he saw the waves and he got afraid and he began to sink. Lord, save me, he cried out. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and grabbed him. You have little faith, he said. Why did you doubt? When they climbed into the boat, the wind died down. Then everyone that was in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. The thing about this story that I love so much is that the disciples are in the boat. They're freaking out. They're like, we're going to sink. It's all over. But then Jesus comes walking on the water and Peter says, Jesus, if that's really you, call me out. Let me walk on the water too. And Jesus says, sure, come on out. And so Peter puts one foot over the edge and another foot. And all of a sudden, Peter is walking on the water with Jesus. But as soon as he takes his eyes off Jesus and looks around, that's when he starts to sink. That's when things get scary. Just like in my story, as soon as I took my eyes off my teacher and I started looking down at the things that I knew were scary, that's when I got afraid and I locked up. But I love that in this moment, Peter realizes he's taken his eyes off Jesus. And the first thing he does, Jesus, help me. And Jesus does. He reaches out, grabs his hand and pulls him up. You see, in our life, when we get afraid, we have two choices. One, we can look at the things around us that make us afraid. Or two, we can look at Jesus. And I know for me, every time I've been afraid, if I've stopped and looked at Jesus, he's always been there. He's always picked me up. The Bible actually says in Hebrews 12, 2, keep your eyes on Jesus because he is the one that makes your faith 
perfect. You see, having faith in Jesus is the best thing we can do when we're scared because we know that even though the things around us might seem scary, they might seem crazy, that when we have our eyes on Jesus, he's always there to pick us up, to hold us and to get us to the other side. And just like my rock wall, when I kept my eyes on my teacher, I made it to the top. I won. That when you keep your eyes on Jesus, no matter how difficult life gets, no matter how crazy things might be, you will always win. And so that's what I want us to remember today. It's the big point. I want you to remember this forever. It's why we've made the masks as the craft. You can keep your eyes on the things around you that make you scared, or you can choose to keep your eyes on Jesus. I know where I'm going to be looking. I'm going to be looking at Jesus. What about you? Let's say, keep your eyes on Jesus on the count of three. Here we go. One, two, three. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Welcome back. I hope you were paying attention to the Bible story because it's time for the Bible quiz. The way this is going to work is we're going to ask you a question with two possible answers. Isla, if they think the first answer is correct, what should they do? They should put their hands on their heads. What about if they think the second answer is correct, what should they do? Well, put it on your shoulders. Put it on your shoulders. Your teachers and leaders will be watching. Do your best to get all five right. Here we go with question number one. The disciples were in the boat, but something was happening around them that made them scared. What was it? Were the wind and the waves really big? Or were there dolphins swimming around the boat? You've got five seconds. Okay, Isla, what do you think the answer is? Was it the wind and the waves? It was the wind and the waves. It was crazy. Question number two. They looked out into the water and they saw someone walking on the water. Who was it? Was it Jesus or was it Mario? You've got five seconds. Isla, what do you think the answer is? Was it Jesus? It was Jesus, that's right. Question number three. When the disciples saw that Jesus was walking on water, which disciple said, can I walk on the water too? Was it Justin or was it Peter? You've got five seconds. Isla, what do you think the answer is? Was it Peter? It was Peter. Peter went and walked on the water. Question number four. When Peter took his eyes off Jesus and started focusing on the scary things around him instead, what happened? Did he start to fly or did he start to sink? You've got five seconds. Isla, what do you think the answer is? Did he start sinking? He started sinking, that's right. But last question, when he realized he'd taken his eyes off Jesus, he put his eyes back on Jesus and asked for help. What happened? Did Jesus reach down and save him straight away? Or did a dolphin come and save him straight away? You've got five seconds. Isla, what's the answer? Did Jesus help him straight away? That's right. Jesus reached out and grabbed his hand and saved him. And I love that we learned today that just like the disciples, we can get scared sometimes. But even when we're scared, we, we can keep our eyes on Jesus. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today. My name is Buckle. And my name is Isla. And we'll see you next week on The, the Link, Link Show. Show. Bye. Bye.